What's up everybody, Greg here with Lens Pro to Go and Lens Rentals. And in today's video, we're gonna be checking out the Zeiss Supreme Primes. I have a full set here with me. I just finished up the lens test, which covers more of the optics. If you guys wanna check that out, I'll throw a link to it right up here. But this video, we're gonna be covering the exterior build and features, some of the ports, mounting options, and all the things that you need to know. So let's get into it. The full set of Zeiss Supreme Primes is gonna range from 15 millimeters all the way up to 200 millimeters throughout 13 different lenses. The current lineup that we have is 25, 29, 35, 50, and 85. We have the 100 millimeter on order and that should be coming in soon, as well as the 65. Later in 2019 and early 2020, the rest of the lenses will be released and we'll be picking those up as well. We carry ours in PL mount, but you can also get them in RE LPL mount, as well as Canon EF mount. Right away, you can tell the quality of these lenses when you hold them. They're built incredibly well with a solid aluminum housing with great attention to design and detail. The focus and aperture are super smooth and precise and can be used in extreme temperatures of cold and hot. These lenses come in a much smaller form factor than most cinema lenses. They weigh in ranging between two and a half pounds and four pounds for the current lineup that we have. The other lenses that are gonna be coming later, like the longer focal lengths, 150 and 200 millimeter, those are gonna be weighing closer to six pounds. As far as the length, they're all right about 4.7 inches, which makes them really uniform throughout the whole set. Again, the longer focal lengths and the shorter focal lengths, like the wider lenses, are gonna be a little bit different once they come out. The Supreme Primes are very similar in the size and weight to the Sigma Cine Primes. So if you use those lenses, they're gonna have a really similar form factor. Even having a small foot on the bottom of the lens for lens support using a 3 8 thread. These lenses have a crazy 300 degree focus throw with non-linear markings to make it easier to pull and get precise focus at closer distances, which is definitely needed for the fast T1.5 aperture that most of the lenses in the set have. If you go to the wider lenses or the more telephoto lenses, it's gonna be a little bit less than that. The 15 and the 150 have about a T1.8 and the 200 millimeter has a T2.1. All of the lenses have 16 aperture blades inside, so you get super circular and really smooth bokeh, as well as having some really nice fall off and roll off from in focus to out of focus areas. The close focus for these lenses vary depending on which focal length you're looking at, but I'll put all the tests that I did up on screen right now. So here is the 25 millimeter, here's the 29, the 35, 50, and 85. The image circle for all of these prime lenses is 46.2 millimeters, so it covers full frame as well as a little bit more, covering the Alexa LF and the Red Monstro VistaVision. As far as optics, like I mentioned at the beginning, if you wanna check out the test that I did to see specifically how it handles in like flaring, breathing, bokeh, I'll throw a link to those again up here so you can go check that out. But these lenses are super clean, really sharp, super high resolution, so great for those 8K cameras, and just having a really nice, clean, commercial look to them. Optically, these lenses are gonna be pretty similar to the Zeiss CP3s with pretty much the same center sharpness, but as you go out towards these edges, the Supreme Primes are gonna have a little more resolution in those corners. Also, the focus transition from in focus to out of focus on the Supreme Primes is gonna be much smoother, so you're gonna have what seems to be a little bit wider depth of field, and you're not gonna have that sharp, like here's in focus and then here's out of focus. It's gonna have a nice transition. If you wanna look at the sharpest lens in the set, you wanna look at the 29 millimeter. This seems to be a rehoused 28 millimeter F1.4 Otis lens. So you're gonna have really good resolution across the whole image all the way onto the sides and very minimal distortion. These lenses also have Zeiss's Extend Data Port, which offers the lenses metadata that's critical for VFX intensive productions. You get the obvious information like focal length, focal distance, depth of field, T-stop, but you also get Zeiss's specific distortion and vignetting properties for each of those lenses, which makes it really easy for compositing and VFX work later. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video, checking out these Zeiss Supreme Primes. If you guys wanna check out those lens tests that I mentioned a couple times, they're gonna be at the end of this video and in the description below. If you guys have any questions about these lenses, make sure to let me know in the comments below. If you wanna try them out for yourself, head on over to lensprotigo.com. There'll be a link in the description as well. If you guys like this type of video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for new videos every single week, and I'll see you in the next one.